determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. So basically we have to um, take the limit and see what happens. So as it is now, if you take the limit, you would just get infinity minus infinity, which could be anything. So let's rewrite it. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity. And there is a property of logarithms um, that we can use. Recall if you have the ln of a minus the ln of b, that's equal to the ln of a over b. This is called the quotient rule for logarithms. So we can use that in this problem here. This is our a and this is our b. So this will be the ln of n plus 1 over n, just like that. And so now it's a little more clear um, what the limit will be. Um, this is n to the first power, and this is n to the first power. So these are growing at the same rate. And there's a 1 here, and there's a 1 here. So this is really equal to the natural log of 1 over 1. You just divide the coefficients, which is the natural log of 1, which is 0. So because we got a number, we say the sequence converges. And this number here is special. This is called the limit of the sequence. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.